all right what's going on guys so before we get into today's video i just want to start this off by saying um go to, go to twitter here oh that's not the twitter button um yeah so i was unable to make an emma frost video with the ccp content creator program when i had her um i played her like twice against winter soldier once at the end of the stream and once just when i first got her just to kind of play around but i didn't have time to make a video just because i was just grinding 60 million points in arena um yeah, Mutamat here, he recently uh, has been a part of the content creators program, and uh, he's not a YouTuber, but what he does is he makes a write-up about each of the champions, so he already did one for Omega Red, I read through it, I thought it was great, and he did one for uh, Emma Frost as well, and guys, like, if you guys want to know and put on Emma Frost, uh, go check out this post, my Twitter will be linked in the description, go look, follow Mutamat as well, go look at this post, go read about about her if you want to check out about Emma Frost. Really good, really good write-up from me to Matt here. This guy does so much for the community, so uh, yeah, guys, if you want to go check that out, support him, I would appreciate it, and uh, yeah, I apologize for not getting any videos out uh, about Emma Frost. So uh, yeah, let's get into today's video, and I woke up today, and holy crap, man, so much has happened. So we got a bunch of stuff to talk about. We're going to be opening up some Emma Frost crystals. She is the main topic in today's video. And as you can see, there's supposed to be two offers here. So I did go ahead and buy one. Um, in terms of these offers, values... Ah, man, I think... Yeah, so in terms of these offers, values, man, are they worth it? No. If you get the five-star, yeah, sure, it's worth it. But normally, just to buy these these crystals, in my, in my opinion, no. I, I don't buy GMCs normally, like with the units... Uh, cause I, I, I don't find it worth it, but hey, if you guys do, that's cool. Um, but uh, the only reason I'm buying it is so that I can make a video, uh, for you guys to watch for your enjoyment, uh, maybe show you why you shouldn't buy it. Um, but yeah, that, that's why I buy it. Uh, that, that's why I buy these offers, just mainly so that I can make a video. Uh, it's not about trying to get Emma Frost the account, you know? Um, so that, that's more so why I do it. Uh, I don't, I don't, it's tough, man, because Kabam, the thing about these early offers is, it's not just regular GMCs, it's early GMCs to get Emma Frost, who's not going to come out for a while, um, so it's, I can see why it's so enticing, especially because Emma Frost looks really sick, uh, especially if you get her now for Alliance War, that's definitely going to help in season, so I, I can easily see why a lot of people would go ahead and buy this, most people, not most, a lot of people buy this when, um, when these new offers go out so completely understand and they also the other good thing about these offers is you get 30 percent boosts with both actually so with the big ones the dmcs you get three of them uh, with the regular one uh you just get one of them i, I don't think the regular one's worth buying at all uh if you're end game uh the gmc one though i can see it so uh yeah as you guys can see um where is it uh, yeah, boom, I, I have one of those in, in the overflow now, so I gotta make sure I use that. Uh, I got two weeks to use that, I think. But yeah, we'll, we'll still be in the season, so that'll be plenty of time. Uh, so yeah, that's also why the, the offer can be a little bit worth it for those boosts. Uh, but now something else to talk about, guys, before we get into the crystal opening. Where is it? Look at this. Speaking of Alliance War, speaking of Kabam, five-star Electro. So, you know, I woke up, and I saw this, I'm like, wait five-star electro and i saw a screenshot of someone pulling an awakening electro on like five crystals you always see those screenshots when these when these new offers or when any new crystal comes out and at first you know for like the first 20 minutes i was waiting for you know cool they added an electro i bet his damage could be pretty cool as a five star and then it hits me oh alliance war defense oh it's been so nice never having to worry about finding a, an electro in war anymore but now five star electro is going to be on war man someone's going to take this guy well no if you saw if, he, if someone took him to rank five you see him in his profile but people will take him to rank four and they, they he won't be in the profile and uh if if you bring in a spider-man stark enhanced like that's going to be that's gonna be super annoying. You're gonna, the blades are gonna be resurfacing with the Ghost Rider synergy for this man. Like, ah, uh, this is kind of annoying. You know, I, I like Bam at bringing bringing five stars that aren't bringing champs that aren't available as five stars to the crystal, uh, to the fold. But this this just seems like 
BS for Alliance War after thinking about it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is going to be super annoying to fight the five star electrodes in war. I'm not looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Just this kind of the way I'm thinking about it now, but yeah, that's just my opinion. So, uh, yeah, now Emma Frost, guys. Let's go open up some of those crystals. I am super excited. Uh, but yeah, here's the Electro GMCs if you didn't see. I'm pretty sure you have to be uncollected to get them. I'm not, I'm not going to be buying any of those. Screw that. But all right, here we go. Emma Frost crystals. Um, let me just take a picture. Okay, and let's go. We've got five of these things to open up here. So what I'm looking for, Emma Frost five star, of course. If we get her as a five star, this will be worth it. Uh, if, I, if I pull a five star Omega Red, <laughs> I'm just going to laugh. Um, but yeah, anything else I'm looking for? Five star Corvus. Uh, or any new five stars, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, if we pull a five star Corvus, <laughs> that would be a uh, pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, man, let's see what we can get out of here. If we got a four star Emma, I'd be pretty happy with that too. But you know, we're looking for the five star today. We're we're looking for the five star. This offer was about like forty bucks Canadian, so I probably paid like forty five dollars Canadian. So. Hopefully it's not just all three stars, you know, hopefully we can get some good stuff in here. Let's see, let's go ahead and tap it. Ah, who are we getting? First crystal. Four star Loki. Okay. It's better than three star. It's uh, better than a three star. I'll take uh, the five star shards. All right. Let's go ahead. Wait, hold on. Quickly, let's check out the drop rates real quick. What are we looking at here? So... Featured prizes, five star Emma Frost, so 0.40%. And there's a 2% chance for a five star. Huh. Okay. So a 0.4% chance that we're going to pull that five star Emma. I like those odds. I like those odds. Let's let's see what we can get here, boys. Um, ooh, five star Infinity War Iron Man would actually be pretty sweet as well. Five star Domino. I don't really need Domino anymore because we've got Omega Red, uh, but I, I still would like one, you know. Um, I'd put her on defense, I guess. Ooh, I, I'd love to pull a 5-star Blade. I'd love to pull a 5-star Blade because that'll be a Max Sig Crystal. And then we'll pull a 6-star Immortal Iron Fist. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and tap this crystal. We're pulling from this one. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's coming around, what's coming around, what's coming around, what's coming around. Ooh, almost a five star DD. Uh, okay, three star rogue. Trash. Plop the next one on there. I see Corvus in there, man. Ooh, Cap. Cap Infinity War, Infinity War as well. I would love to pull him as a five star. That'd be sweet. Um, yeah, so a 2% chance at any five star. So there's a chance. There's a chance we can pull Corvus. Always a chance. Uh, more Signal on Void would be pretty sweet as well. Ooh, there's Emma. Five star AV. Okay, three star Emma. Not bad. At least we got her in some star level. Okay. That's not bad. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Put the next one on the spinner. Uh, five star Stark Spidey would be not bad as well. Wouldn't mind that. Actually, a Sentinel, a five-star Sentinel would be pretty sweet. Like, Sentinel's really been growing on me. Uh, it's crazy to see because, like, so many people pulled six-star Sentinel. Like, so many people. Sentinel is sick, man. Sentinel is sick. All right, let's go ahead and tap there. Um, we pull in. Five stars coming around. No way. No way. No freaking way. <laughs> no way. No. No. You gotta be kidding me. 62 million points in Awakening Gem. No. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe that. I swear to God, I knew that was going to happen. 
Oh god. I said if it happened I would just laugh. I, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> I should have waited. I should have waited to awaken him. Because uh I guess I can say it now. Cause well no, maybe I shouldn't say it just in case, but Oh no. Man, I Uh, let's just say Emma was pulled from our council a little bit early because this offer was coming, so. Yeah. I should have waited to awaken him. I could have had him meet him, Jim. <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well. More SIG levels, I guess. More SIG levels. The, the SIGs really help them. So, man, of course, the one time I pull one of the featured five stars from one of these bundles, it's when I already have them. <laughs> well, guys, that was crazy. Let me know what you guys thought. I just, uh, I, of course, man, of course. But <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace, guys.